Alright, it's time for Team Battle Teemo. And to your surprise, this isn't the first Jungle Teemo game I have uploaded. What's that one? Yep, this is the second Jungle Teemo. What's that two? Alright, so, runes and masteries. I think my masteries were like 9, 21 or something like that. I actually have no idea. Or 21, 9. Who cares? Don't Jungle Teemo. And my runes, I, they were actually a mistake... I was going for to go AD Teemo, but I had picked Fizz the last game and my runes didn't save. So I think my runes were Magic Pin Red, Armor Yellow, uh, Ability, Mattresses Blue, I think, and Ability Power Quince. Something like that. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I think it's flat. Anyways, first things first, I get double buff and I go gank Rengar because Darius and him are kind of already trying to trade. Go in, surprise him, blind him, shoot everything, and I... I'll come close to dying by minions, but I survive. Yeah, for Teemo. As to why the fuck I'm using Teemo? It's because, you know, I was playing with Lily Pichu and the gang, and they just said, Hey, st st hey, Stonewall. Bam, Teemo skin out of nowhere. Fucking Lily Pichu. Now I and she said, I have to pick Teemo. So here I am, picking Teemo. I'm hiding in the middle of the lane. Just in case, once Ringo gets so close, I start blasting. I'm dealing damage with my red and my poison. He almost fucking dies. So... This top lane is essentially one for Darius. I go home, buy Spirit Stone and Dorian's Ring. I have no idea why I bought that. Either item. So, level with me. Yeah. And he gets kicked. He gets her ass kicked, so I go in, leech some experience. Ari tries to be G and shit and tries to, you know, shoot at me and hit, it, hit me. But when she gets a little too close, I, you know, show her just how painful Teemo can be. Motherfucking Teemo. Teemo's so fucking overpowered. I've never seen I, I've never seen Teemo lose to anybody, not even another Teemo. I don't even know how Teemo wins a Teemo matchup. So that's how overpowered he is. Anyways. I have to go like attacks attack speed ability power magic damage teemo. So yeah. Luckily we have a tank to, uh, we have a bruiser who makes up a front line and thresh who can work as a pseudo tank from the support and my poison takes blue because you know fuck everybody else i didn't really mean to but you know timo timo is self-aware and does what he wants and takes what he wants anyways back to you know guarding this lane pew 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 i'm gonna build nasher's tooth by the way as you can see, there's really not much I can do with for ganks without red or some kind of surprise tactic. So I'm just laying down mushrooms wherever I can in order to back up my teammate. I go top lane, I put a mushroom down, and I, ho and I hope for Rengar to get overly aggressive and we can kick his ass. He gets close, he gets close, and bam! Pulled, I come out, shoot him, apply red, he slowed down, he does nothing he can do to escape, and Darius goes for the dunk. I put mushrooms, or in this case, I guess they're, mm, I don't know, little tiny Chinese candy thingies, I think. I, could, I would have said a nigris, but are they a nigris? I don't know. A nigiri. Are those even Chinese? No, they're Japanese. Okay, so, bam. Mid dies, and I think nobody else died on my team. Ari died, now Varus dies. It's uneventful for Teemo. This is why you don't pick jungle Teemo. You don't do shit half the time. You just put down wards, 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 wards. And, I mean, wards and mushrooms. Also, yeah, some idiot before said, Ah, when Stonewall plays Teemo, he doesn't buy wards because he's got mushrooms. No, I don't. I fucking buy wards because you buy... Just because I have mushrooms doesn't mean I don't buy wards. That's the same thing as an idiot in Italy to just trap everything and think, oh, I got chaps, I don't need a ward. Smart players will dupe your shit and then kick your ass as a, uh, kick your ass as a result. Anyways, they go for dragon. I mean, we go for dragon, then in comes fiddlesticks, and then I die as a result. I may secure the uh, dragon with smite. They kill me, and they kill, and the result, two of them died. So they traded Teemo for two kills and a dragon. Totally worth it, because Teemo needs to die. So, I go top to reinforce it, and they are a fucking afraid of Teemo. I don't even have double buffs, but as soon as I start shooting at them, they're like, fuck this shit, I don't want any of this, man. And out they retreat. Teemo is a fucking, the most overpowered shit in the game. Hell, I'm surprised nobody jungles Teemo. I, I know I said you shouldn't jungle Teemo, but, you know, it's just... Because I don't want people to know he's overpowered and, and, and use him. You know, keeping it... 
keep in mind this. Oh, and this time I actually try to donate it without stealing it too middling. Keep in mind this. There's some people who say, I have a secret genre. I have a secret character that I don't want to reveal to anybody. No, you don't. If you do, it likely sucks. Darius gets caught, combled down, destroyed by four people. Does he survive? Nope, he dies. And the Annie Tibbers misses. I sacrifice my life to kill Rengar. They chase me and they kill me. And Annie manages to kill nobody. However, at least Tibbers is going to prevent the push because Tibbers is Tibbers. And now he's dead. Okay, so. As I was saying, there's some players who say, I have a secret champion that I don't let anybody know. You don't have a secret champion. Most shit that's quote unquote secret is discovered eventually. Only the weirdest niche things like AP Trindamir is actually, you know. You, uh, this quote unquote discovered by somebody and kept secret. But even then, there's very few junglers that are exactly secret. There was this one guy in the forums who was saying, I have this super secret jungler that I'm keeping from everybody, but saying, so, like, and nobody can know what it is because I'm afraid people will use it to get nerfed. There isn't anything that's secret now. Most junglers have been discovered, and most junglers that technically work in a competitive level are all pretty much, you know, mirrors of each other. Except the very few oddballs. Like, Teemo Jungle, like, I'm winning the game as Teemo Jungle, as you can see. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a viable thing, it just means that I'm getting away with it. In comes the team fight, by the way. I put down some mushrooms because I knew this would be the battlefield. Rengar gets killed. And I'm like, I just know what chance and how I can, you know, escape. So I try to make sure somebody was going to stand here. They all cluster up and fucking Annie destroys them with Tibers. Fiddlesticks comes in. He has no fucking damage because he support Fiddlesticks and he gets promptly killed. Hmm. Ace. So anyways, I, I know I pick some weird oddball junglers and everything, but viability is something that... The, a lot of people don't necessarily understand how it works or how it's supposed to make sense. Not everything is, uh, there's a lot of things that are technically viable, quote unquote, but you're kind of, some people are misusing that word. I'd rather use usable or functional, like X character is functional as a support. Darius is functional as a jungler. I don't know, Darius is functional as a jungler, but he's not exactly a viable pick and there, like he has too many his weaknesses completely outshine his strengths and he's never and the competitive environment he just won't work as a jungler i mean i've used him solo queue because so, fuck solo queue solo queue is just random and stupid and almost anything works there so viability is it can, shouldn't be measured in solo queue i've seen people uh uh until you find at least you know the most organized crews or really really or you run the character through all, all the types of rigorous tests and see holy crap it's consistent then yeah you can say something is viable or strong consistency is the mark of something actually being good and viable if it ain't consistent especially through different types of rigorous tests like in in terms of junglers if they can't survive invasion if they can't survive being super low gold if they can't survive all the types of situations a jungler will be forced into then you know their vi viability starts to whittle down and if they can't survive a majority of them then they're just practically unviable they are usable in certain situations or just usable in ge or usable in general but viability is just a whole another topic that a lot of people just misunderstand what i'm trying to say is don't fucking use jungle team just because i won doesn't necessarily make them you know good just usable